It's been quite a while since we've made a bed compilation film and in that time we've had a lot of really really cool beds. So without further ado we're going to show you the next 10 awesome bed designs that we've come across in the last two years. We're going to start off by showing you the bed design in my current van because I think it's quite clever. So I am a sucker for a fixed bed. I don't like making a bed and I like the fact that when you have a bed fixed in the back of your van you can have a big garage storage underneath. Now the way I've built this bed is it has basically a double bed which is fixed all the time then we have an additional section that means you sleep across the bed this way and you end up with a king size bed or near enough. So as it is now it can be used as a double bed. Now if I'm sleeping with my partner then this is too small for me because I'm constricted but as it is I can sleep diagonally and I actually feel like I have all the space I need. If I'm like end to end because I'm six foot tall I'm kind of a bit constricted and I don't really like it. So in that circumstance if we're sleeping two in the bed we'll put the pillows on this side and we'll convert this table and a bed plug which we'll put in and it will make it king size. So to convert the table into the bed we take the table off, slide them in, you take the pillar off, pop the table, the table sits in these little notches and by itself now because of the folded edges it's really strong and then we use the bed plug component which sort of wedges in a little bit. Now we have king size bed, extremely comfortable for two people. Obviously I just had this on the side to demonstrate it but what I've done with this is because it's obviously very long because it goes the full width of the van but we have these folding tabs on the end and that means when I put them on the side of the bed when we're not using it it kind of makes like a sofa <laughs> and obviously doesn't just hang over because it'd be one really long bit of foam and then that means we can turn it into like another sort of couch seating area, uh, I don't know, watch a TV show or something um, and it's just really quite cool, quite comfortable and it solves a problem of getting rid of this really long piece of foam. So this folding table solves one of the problems with this design and that is how to make a platform which is level with the cushions across the van with a table without it just sitting on top or doing something else. So basically what I did is I got these corner hinges and they actually close a little bit more which is good because it kind of locks them in place and then to give it some support when the table's up we have these sliders which stop them kind of flexing on the edge when you're using it to cook or eat or something but the end result is a really strong platform that exactly matches the height of the cushions so that when, when we do put this bed plug bed extension on it's all exactly the same height and on this part your feet just go on your, uh, and, and on the end it's the part where your feet go so it's not wildly important that it's like super soft or whatever um, in terms of being compared to the sheet. It works really well, I'm extremely happy with, with this design and, and it enables me to have a king size bed as well as seating for four and because these seats project out even if you have the bed in full size bed mode you can still have two people sit down have your breakfast if you can't be bothered to remake it and make the table. I'm Nate Murphy author of the van conversion guide and I just want to let you know that I'm hosting a free online training which will teach you how to make van life zero cost or profitable. In this free seminar I will show you exactly how to choose a van build it out in a profitable way and avoid the mistakes that most people make. I will show you how I made van life completely free and a bunch of other stuff that people don't really talk about. If you want to join, click the link here or in the description and register for free. I'll see you there. In order to sleep four full grown adults, we have a motorized bed lift system and the bed is on a track and with the push of a button, this bed goes all the way up to the ceiling and creates the new ceiling underneath. And during the day you can have a living room space, workspace area, dining room space, 
uh, and that also converts into a bed as well. And you can stop this at any point to create that bunk bed style. This is a queen IKEA mattress. So I'm 6'3 and I kind of need a lot of space to sleep. And I wasn't really looking forward to sleeping horizontal or <laughs> sleeping side to side like a lot of people do in vans. I wouldn't have been able to do that. I'd be in the fetal position all night. So I wanted to have a big mattress. And the only real way we were able to fit a queen mattress in was this way. And um, obviously that takes up a ton of space so we were trying to figure out how to have like a dinette like a lot of people do with their bed designs and this is what we came up with so this converts from a queen size bed to a little dinette we can sit here um, talk with friends but also we can dine because we have a pull-out table right here. Here I have the middle partition wall. I needed a place to lock in my Murphy bed. So this locks here and then it also doubles as storage. So I have some storage at the top just that has magnetic um, locks to keep it in place. And then at the bottom is where I stuff all my laundry in. So that's really easy to access. I spent a lot of time thinking about what kind of layout I wanted. A lot of people do a static bed or they do a dinette that folds down into a bed. Um, but neither of those really gave me the mobility that I wanted. Um, and I just really wanted my bed to be able to go up and store away. So when I found the Murphy bed design, it was a game changer. I'm able to have this living space during the day, which is really open and airy, and then it completely transforms and it's a bedroom at night and it feels like a totally different room. So this was a game changer for me and I absolutely love this layout that I've built. During the day I work full time, so this functions as my office space. I have a lagoon mount with my table and a second screen if I ever need it. To put the bed down, I just need to remove the table lay this on the ground and I just move the pillows and this just folds down and sits on my cushions. So it's really easy, it takes about a minute. So when the bed's down, it basically just feels like a normal bedroom. This is a queen size bed, so queen width, and I cut a little bit off the end since I'm pretty short and I didn't need the length. It's about, I think, five feet, 10 inches. Yeah, I built these little nooks so the pillows can sit right up in there when it goes against the wall. I decided to do the Murphy bed because I just didn't wanna make my bed every day and I don't make my bed every day. I just throw the blankets, throw the pillows and push it up on the wall and it's out of sight, out of mind. I also love this art piece over here on the wall. This is by Laura Burkhart. She's an artist out of Seattle. This is a custom piece that I built my entire van's design around and I absolutely love it. It brings me so much happiness. As far as the bed goes, we ended up buying a uh, memory foam mattress off of Amazon use an electric uh, turkey knife to cut it so it's somewhere in between a king and a queen bed and it's worked out really well the only issue we've had with the uh, memory foam is that when it gets cold out it does get a little hard I sleep on this side of the bed and my girlfriend Alicia sleeps on this side of the bed because I am 6'3 and we didn't want to extend the bed way out into the cab area we came up with a system where we use 400 pound drawer slides and a platform that pulls out in order to extend the bed this side obviously she sleeps on and the cabinets are overhung but we left this side open here so that there was headroom and she sleeps partly underneath the cabinets which hasn't been an issue so far. To extend the bed what you do is you grab these two slide locks pull this platform out here and then the extra piece of foam that we cut off the mattress is here in a pillowcase and that slides against there and then the blankets fold out like here and then that's where I sleep. What a lot of people kind of wonder, particularly for my van, is where's the bed? So behind these panels is a, a Super King. 
you drop down one of the panels across onto the work surface. I pull out the bed, I pull out the mattress, pull out the duvet, and then I've got just under a super king. For me at six foot one, I can starfish and it's no problems at all. So when the bed's down, nice big bed. I've also got my TV, which sits behind here, which means I can play on my Xbox if I want, watch Apple TV, catch up on my streaming services, which are all sort of used off the Wi-Fi in the van. This is one of our bedrooms right here. Okay, so time to set up the master bedroom. And uh, despite common opinion, it is not the couch in the living room. This is our underfloor heated bed. So it's only about three to five minutes to set. And it requires a lot of blankets. <laughs> This is the, ma the master bed um, and it is the most comfortable bed that I, I have slept in. It is my favorite bed. It's so warm, toasty warm. It's like marshmallows <laughs> uh, on the campfire. And uh, I would totally recommend this if you have underfloor heating. Uh, and although we have the mattress at the front where the couch is, uh, this is actually much, much more preferable to us. And if we have guests or anything else, we can actually extend the couch out all the way Either a little kind of sea area like this, so someone can perch on the edge. Yeah. Or what we can do is we can pull it all the way out. And then this backrest actually forms pretty much an entire double mattress that we can just put bed sheets down or whatever. So if you wanted a bit more space in the evenings or you had some friends to come and stay over, you can just make them up a second bed. We've got a king size bed at the back, which we've done sideways along, which I think is, is quite a good thing because we get that extra foot of space um, in the living area. And we've made, managed to be able to do it because of the, the side pods uh, that we've added in. So they're basically fiberglass uh, side pods. And James basically was complaining that he didn't have enough space. So um, he gets an extra eight inches now. And that's the moment you've all been waiting for, I know that. Our lift bed. Um, yeah, it's basically just a bed you pull down and extend, you'll see in a minute. For the extend, you need the seating cushion. So first step is to get this. Second step is to unlock the leather. And then you just from here you can extend it like that. Add the cushion from the seating. We have a topper as well and the bed is ready <laughs> um, the bed is 140 to 2 meters so it's a full size queen bed and even though it's a little of work it gives us so much more living space and yeah when this is your priority as it was in our case we can really recommend that um, but also be aware that you don't have like that much of storage space when you have our layout because we only have kind of the storage space from the seating in the back. This vehicle sleeps VAT 5 and it starts off with we have a fixed double at the back which sleeps the two youngest boys. We then have a single um, bed at the bottom which is one of those um uh is it a futon a futon 
bed type things which folds up so if if we need to use this space at the bottom as garage space then that can be folded up and we can put bikes or whatever else we need to put in there this area here houses all of the electronics for the vehicle and it also is a built-in wardrobe which you will get to see in there and then if on a night time both Kerry and I need a bit of privacy then we designed it so that this part of the vehicle slides out and also forms a bit of privacy when you're using the bathroom area and it also has storage at both sides I don't know if you can see that the storage at this side and at the opposite side of here the storage with all the towels and whatever else we need to carry is in there so that tucks away this sofa forms a bed basically how this works is this pulls out i'll do it i would do it but i'm not going to do it because it does take and it's it pulls out and then the cushions get pushed back and it forms a, a double bed and it comes out to here and that allows us to sleep five <laughs> If you didn't notice, I am offering a free online training which will help teach you how to make van life free or profitable. In this video, I will show you exactly how to buy a van, how to fit it out in a proper way, and teach you how to avoid the mistakes that most people make, and all the other stuff that almost nobody else talks about. If you are thinking about converting a van or living van life, it'll be one of the most valuable things you will ever watch. Just click the link, register for free, and I'll see you there. Another great place to start is to get the van conversion guide. It's packed with useful information and includes 20 video lessons to help you convert a van. Check our website, all the information is there.